In today's project spotlight, I'm going to be talking about this quilted table runner that's embellished with hand embroidery. What I made, how I made it, and what I learned. Welcome to Eva to Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, projogi, and embroidery. So this table runner is a project that I made a few years ago and it's a quilted runner and it's embellished with hand embroidered wreaths. And I didn't really have a pattern for these wreaths. They were just embroidered freestyle. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. So this table runner is quite large. It's 18 inches by 74 inches because I have a very large table. Uh, but this is actually my fill in the blanks table runner pattern that has a number of different size options. And so this is the largest option. And so we can see that it has um, six of these little uh, squares that have wreaths. So this pattern is designed that there is free space in the middle of each block that's perfect for embellishment. So you could of course use free motion quilting or applique, but in this case, I used hand embroidery. So the way I made this is I constructed the whole table runner first, and then I came back and embellished it with embroidery. And this is freestyle embroidery, so I didn't really have a pattern. I was just kind of playing around with stitches. So the way I did this is first in each block, I just traced a circle with water soluble marker, and then I stitched just around in a circle with different stitches. And then for most of them, I came back and embellished them. So we can see in this wreath, I just stitched with feather stitch, and then I came back and embellished it with French knots. Then in this block, I just used little groups of chain stitches, and then I came back and embellished it with little uh, Lazy Daisy flowers and French knots. This wreath is actually called a wheat ear stitch, and I also have little French knots in groups of three that are embellished there. But this one is actually interlaced running stitch. So I had two running stitch circles, and then I interlaced between them to give this little wreath, and then I threaded a uh, red thread through it and tied a little bow. So the bow should actually be at the bottom, but that was a really easy one and it has a big impact. Uh, this one is herringbone. So the herringbone, and then I added some um, straight stitch flowers on there. And then this one is actually called Cretan stitch. And then I again added some little straight stitch stars. So we can see there's lots of different ways that you can freestyle uh, embroidered wreaths. If you just have something in a circle, then that makes a wreath. And then you can add on little embellishments if you want. So I learned a few things from making this. The first thing I learned is that it's sometimes fun to not have a strict pattern that you're following, to just do improv embroidery. And uh, this was a really great experience for that. All I had was the circle, and then the rest was just kind of freestyle. Um, this is a really fun way to play with new stitches. So there were some stitches that I don't normally use, but it was great to just um, play with them in this kind of project. And also for this type of project, so this is something, I mean, you can see some of the uh, stains and things that are on it. This is a piece that has been used a lot and laundered a lot. So for a piece like this, I wouldn't want to do a lot of heavy embroidery. And personally, I wouldn't want to invest a whole lot of time into the embroidery. I want something light that's just going to add a little special touch, but I don't want to spend hundreds of hours doing intricate embroidery and then have it be in use on a table. That's just a personal choice. Um, and so, so this is a hand embroidery, but it's not something that I mind that it's going to get spilled on. It's going to get laundered a lot. Um, having light embroidery is a good choice for that. Also, because it's just light embroidery, then it doesn't 
interfere with the quilting because we still do have to come back and quilt it. And sometimes if something is heavily embroidered, then it's awkward to try and um, do your quilting because your quilting would have to run through the embroidery. And so that's something to think about. If you're embroidering on a quilting project, you have to think about how your embroidery and your quilting are going to work together instead of competing with each other. So if you are just learning embroidery or you just want a quick and easy project, then something like this is a really fun option because it's quick and easy and it looks really great. So if you want to see more details about this, you can click the link below to go to a post that has close up photos of each of the wreaths and it describes what stitches are used. So you can check that out to get more information. And for other embroidery and quilting inspiration and tutorials, you can check out my website, evadistudio.com.